thank you very much. Uh, before my talk, I'd like to thank the organizers for kind invitation to this nice conference. Title of my talk is Quantum Simulation uh, with uh, uh, Ytrubium Fermi Gases. Let me first introduce our group of members. These people are working very hard. And in particular, uh, these people made a great contribution for the experiment in this talk. And Dr. Ozawa, Dr. Schaefer, Dr. Kuno, and Mr. Tomita and Mr. Ono are attending this conference and presented the posters. Okay, uh, my talk is about quantum simulation of Fermi Hubbard model. The first term described the hopping between adjacent lattice site, and second term described the on site interaction. And now, the uh, outer cold Fermi gases with the temperature much below the Fermi temperature can be created with the evaporative cooling like this. And by loading the atom cloud into an optical lattice, we can successfully implement a uh, Fermi Hubbard model using ultra cold fermions in an optical lattice. And one of the uh, targets of the quantum simulation research of a Fermi Hubbard model is to get the deeper insight of a uh, strongly correlated electron system. And the high TC cuprate is uh, one important example of such a target. And the state of the art uh, quantum simulation research of a Fermi Hubbard model now revealed the quantum magnetism of Fermi Hubbard model. Uh, like this, and experiments are done by using the two component fermions of lithium-6 or potassium-40. Okay, uh, different from these uh, alkaline atoms, if we work with the two electron atoms, then we can study the SUN Fermi Hubbard model. And in fact, in our previous experiment, we successfully implement uh, SU6 Fermi Hubbard model by using the ytterbium 173, which has nuclear spin five herbs. So there are six spin components. And we demonstrated the successful formation of uh, SU6 motto insulator state by uh, enhanced Pomeranz cooling effect. In the Pomeranz cooling effect, uh, large spin degrees of freedom carries a large entropy, resulting in a cooling of the system. This is a uh, Pomeranz cooling. And, and this was the result at that time. And uh, at that time, uh, temperature was not so cold. But now, we can cool the ethereum 171 uh, at the about 10% uh, of the Fermi temperature. And this has important implication that the uh, average uh, entropy per particle is below the entropies expected for uncorrelated spin system for SU6 system or SU4 system. So uh, we can expect to observe some spin correlation uh, for SU6 or SU4 system at this uh, low temperature. But this has never been demonstrated so far. So uh, our recent experiment explores this important possibility. Okay, uh, our strategy to, for observing the spin correlation is based on the pioneering work by Eteha Group uh, developed for two component fermions. Our experiment are uh, done in the following way. And first, we load SUN fermions uh, in this uh, dimeride lattice. In, a, uh, in this dimeride lattice, interdimer hopping TD is large. Therefore, the corresponding exchange energy becomes large. This is, uh, this is advantageous for obtain more population in uh, spin, oh, sorry, spin uh, singlet state than in a triplet state. 
okay, um, to observe this spin correlation or quantum magnetism, we then uh, freed the interdimer hopping and intradimer uh, hopping like this. And then we perform a STO, singlet, triplet oscillation. And if we can apply uh, spin dependent uh, potential gradient like this, then we can in introduce the extra phase factor in the wave function right here. Therefore, uh, if uh, the initially formed uh, spin singlet state is transformed to the spin triplet state, and initially formed spin triplet state is transformed to the spin singlet state. This is the uh, uh, sorry. This is the uh, singlet triplet oscillation. And in our work, uh, we uh, create a nuclear spin dependent potential gradient by uh, using the off resonant laser beam with the intensity gradient. Okay, and after this uh, STO process, we uh, merge this. Uh, uh, Dimerized lattice to a single site. And if the singlet state is uh, created at, after the STO process, then two atoms are populated in the lowest vibrational state. And atoms are converted to the molecule by irradiating the photo association laser beam. In this way, we could detect the uh, atoms in the singlet state as atom loss. Uh, if the triplet state is formed, it is not converted to the molecule and there is no atom loss. Okay, and uh, uh, this is the result of uh, such a measurement. Um, we clearly observe the singlet triplet oscillation of a SU4 fermions in a strongly dimerized lattice uh, with this parameter. And we fit our data uh, with the damped cosine function like this. And here, the damping is induced by uh, inhomogeneous intensity distribution or photon scattering of the laser beam to create a, a spin-dependent potential gradient. And in a different measurement, we could determine the uh, atom number, total atom numbers at this value. And this uh, atom loss corresponds to the atom, atoms initially in the spin singlet state. And this atom loss corresponds to the atoms initially in the triplet state. Okay? And from this uh, measurement, we can deduce an uh, important quantity of the normalized STO amplitude defined like this. And this quantity is related to the transverse uh, spin correlator, like this, okay? And uh, here we plot the normalized STO amplitude as a function of the entropy per particle, like this. Here you can see that uh, 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 STO amplitude is larger for SU4 system than, in, uh, than for uh, SU2 system. And the solid lines represent the atomic limit calculation. Uh, we find the agreement, okay? And from this normalized STO amplitude, we can determine the temperature in the lattice. Uh, and it is plotted as a function of the entropy per particle like this. And here you can clearly see that uh, lower temperature is realized for SU4 system than in uh, SU2 system. Uh, this uh, phenomenon can be uh, explained by the Pomeranz cooling for quantum magnetism. And previously, it was demonstrated for charge degrees of freedom to form a molten insulator state. But now, uh, it is demonstrated for uh, quantum magnetism. Okay, and uh, here we also observed some heating effect uh, at the uh, lowest 
entropy. And to get the further uh, lower temperature, we need to overcome this uh, uh, heating effect. Okay? And so uh, we successfully observed the short range magnetism of SU4 Fermi gas of ytterbium-173 in uh, dimerized lattice. And, but one may wonder whether it is possible to observe uh, nearest neighbor spin correlation of SUN Fermi gas in uh, isotropic uh, lattice. And as I mentioned before, uh, this is uh, well expected from the entropy argument. Okay, and uh, so we uh, performed the uh, uh, spin correlation measurement of SU4 fermion in uh, isotropic cubic lattice and with this uh, uh, parameter, uh, parameters. And uh, we clearly observed the uh, singlet triplet oscillation like this. And if we uh, increase the temperature a little bit, then uh, STO. Uh, signal disappears. And this is the uh, first example of successful observation of spin correlation in simple cubic uh, lattice with SU4 fermions. Okay, and uh, we investigate the behavior of spin correlation of SU4 fermions from the strongly dimerized regime to uh, uh, almost a cubic configuration like this. Here, uh, uh, by changing the ratio of the intradimer hopping to interdimer hopping. And here you can see that the uh, STO amplitude gradually decreases as the dimerization decreases. And uh, this is a, a result of the atomic limit calculation. And we need a more sophisticated theoretical uh, calculation to compare uh, our experimental data. Okay, and uh, from the entropy argument, we expect a stronger spin correlation for SU6 fermions. And however, the method to uh, uh, measure the spin correlation for SU6 fermion is not so uh, simple. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we, uh, use the linear, we use the off-resonant laser light to create a nuclear spin-dependent potential gradient. And in the case of a linear polarization, uh, light shift or energy spectrum becomes like this. And therefore, the four uh, six spin component of SU6 fermions we have uh, three singlet triplet oscillation frequency. So behavior is uh, not so simple. And in fact, the, our simulation showed that uh, uh, STO behavior is uh, different for different spin component, like this, for uh, plus minus one half or plus minus three halves and plus minus uh, five halves, like this. And Total atom number behaves uh, like this. So uh, this is not uh, simple, but it may be possible to fit our experimented data with this specific function. Okay, to uh, uh, check our method, uh, we uh, perform for first perform the experiment with the uh, strongly dimerized lattice configuration like this. And we uh, successfully observe the expected behavior of singlet triplet uh, oscillation like this. And uh, uh, spin resolved uh, singlet triplet oscillation becomes uh, like this, uh, which are consistent with our expectations. Okay, and from this uh, result, uh, we uh, could determine the temperature in the lattice at this low value, okay? And with this uh, confirmation, we uh, 
uh, apply this method to uh, possible observation of the spin correlation of S6 fermions in various configurations beyond uh, dimerized lattice configuration. And uh, this is a case of the 1D chain, like this. And we clearly observe the uh, singlet triplet oscillation like this. Uh, this is for the uh, uh, strong ring. And this is a case of the 2D square lattice, like this. And again, we observe the clear uh, STO signal. And this is a case of the 3D isotropic cubic lattice. We, uh, again, observe the clear uh, singlet triplet oscillation signal. And therefore, we uh, think that uh, we can say that uh, now Ethereum has joined the group of uh, quantum magnetism research of a Fermi Hubbard model. OK. And uh, this is the summary of the first part of my talk. Um, we successfully observed the uh, anti ferromagnetic spin correlation for uh, SU4 system in a dimerized lattice and also isotropic through the cubic lattice and its uh, crossover regime. And we observed the uh, antiferromagnetic spin correlation for SU6 fermion for dimerized lattice, 1D chain and 2D square and isotropic 3D cubic lattice. And if we combine the SUN fermions with the non-standard lattice configuration, we can uh, study more exotic SUN uh, magnet, quantum magnetism, such as uh, SU4 spin singlet state in a, a, a bracket lattice like this. And the uh, experiments along this line is now underway in our lab. And uh, we, so far, we successfully load uh, SU4 fermions in a bracket lattice and successfully observed the spin been singlet the triplet oscillation like this. OK, uh, for the rest of my talk, I will switch to the second topic of two orbital quantum simulator. The, another uh, unique feature of the two electron atoms is the uh, existence of the two stable orbitals of the singlet S0 and the metastable triplet P0. And importantly, there is a spin exchange interaction between the atoms between these two uh, orbitals. And therefore, uh, this system is ideal for the study of a spin orbital physics, such as the Kondo effect. In a Kondo effect, uh, localized atoms in one orbital strongly influence the quantum transport of the atoms in another orbital by forming a spin singlet state. The such a system exhibits a rich phase diagram known as the Doniach phase diagram. But we should be careful that uh, exchange, spin exchange interaction should be antiferromagnetic uh, for the study of the Kondo effect. And in the previous uh, works, uh, spin exchange interaction were measured for Ethereum 173 and strontium 87, and are found to be ferromagnetic. And recently, the uh, novel scheme of uh, uh, confinement induced resonance was demonstrated for Ethereum 173 for resonant enhancement of the uh, spin exchange uh, rate. For, and this uh, This can be uh, uh, used for a uh, condo uh, simulator. But in our uh, work, uh, we explore another possibility of 171 Ethereum as a possible condo simulator. And uh, Ethereum 171 has a nuclear spin one half, and only the ground state scattering length is known, and it is very small. And the uh, Interorbital scattering rings are not known. Uh, so in this work, uh, to determine these inter 
interorbital scattering lens, first we uh, cool the yttrium-171 below the Fermi temperature with the sympathetic cooling with yttrium-173 and load the atom cloud into a 3D optical lattice with this uh, magic wavelength. And then we perform a high resolution occupancy resolved uh, crop transition spectroscopy. And this is a result of such a uh, spectroscopy. And we successfully uh, observed uh, a resonant signals from the singly occupied site and uh, signals from the W occupied site. And resonance frequency for the W occupied site uh, shifted from the resonance from the single occupied site by on site interorbital interaction. Okay, and to determine the uh, interorbital uh, scattering lens, we repeated this measurement for various magnetic fields. So this is the obtained spectrum. And these are for spectrum uh, corresponding to the single occupied site. And this branch uh, corresponds to the uh, W occupied site. And this behavior of the signal, this spectrum, is consistent with the uh, antiferromagnetic spin exchange interaction. And from this result, we can determine the corresponding on-site uh, interorbital uh, on-site interaction like this. And from this, we can uh, determine the uh, interorbital scattering lengths like this. And importantly, the, uh, this has a negative sign. So uh, we uh, reveal that the yttrium-171 has antiferromagnetic spin exchange interaction. And therefore, it is uh, useful for quantum simulation of the condo effect. OK. Uh, this is a summary of the second part of my talk. And uh, uh, as I explained, uh, with the occupancy resolved high resolution spectroscopy, we uh, determine the uh, it, it be 171 spin exchange interaction as antiferromagnetic. And toward the observation of the condo effect, we evaluated the uh, condo temperature. Uh, given like this uh, for the strong coupling regime. Uh, here, JG is the uh, ground state uh, hopping energy. And C1 and C2 are constant on the order of 1. And uh, with the shallow 1D lattice with tight transverse confinement, we evaluate the condo temperature at this value. And this is uh, not, so, not too low. So we think that uh, we can perform a uh, quantum simulation of the condo effect using 171 yttrium. And uh, uh, behavior of the dipole oscillation is uh, investigated theoretically, and the experiment along this line is now underway in our lab. Okay, and uh, this is a summary of my talk. And these two topics are discussed in detail. And uh, we have other activities like this. Uh, these are presented in the poster sessions. Okay. Thank you very much for your attention. Mm -hmm.